What is up awesome people and welcome back to my Pokemon X and Y tutorial series. So in the last episode, I did my very last episode in regards to com Pokemon competitive battling. So I did an episode how to level up your Pokemon quickly, which was basically just a vision for the very first video in this tutorial series, which was basically how to get um, experience quickly as well as money. So obviously you needed to have already beaten the Elite Four to already do this or have Pokemon above level 63, so probably about level 70 would have done it to be able to do it. And if you use that method, you probably saw in the last episode just how quickly I leveled up. And yeah, it's basically the method I use to make all my Pokemon level 100. So as I said, that was basically the last episode in regards to that topic. Um, there is one more video I would like to do. Um, it can or cannot be a Wi-Fi related topic, but I've had a few people ask me in regards to this topic um, how to do it. So um, I do have a little bit of it ready to go, but not all of it just yet. So when it's all ready to go, I'll do that video and post it up on YouTube. So that should be up in the near future. I won't give any spoilers as to what it is just yet. Alrighty, so let's move on to this episode. Um, basically, I'm moving back to how to get certain items. Um, so far, they've done pretty well, and a lot of people are quite happy that I'm doing these, so I'm going to do a few more. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be covering how to get King's Rock, because um, in the entire Pokemon series, there is two Pokemon that needs King's Rock to evolve. Now, I'm aware there's one King's Rock in the game already. I think that's through Luminous City, I think. That's where most items lurk in this game anyway. Um, you can also get it through pickup. I think it's through levels. Well, they're quite low levels, but I did cover it in my pickup guide, which was another video I did in this tutorial series. But the other way to get King's Rock in this game is through Wild Poliwhirls, who hold them as well. And they have an about 5% chance of holding them. So, really in this episode, I'm only doing the same method that I did in my previous item um, finding episodes, except this time, to make people happy, um, I've actually used a Pokemon with Frisk as well to show the quickest way of doing it. So you can do this method using wild polywells you find with a good rod, but I'm going to be doing the polywells you find in Safari, seeing how the rate of finding them is a lot higher than what through a good rod. So the first thing you're obviously going to need is a Pokemon with compound eyes as your lead Pokemon. So I've got my Yammer, and as you can see, it's actually fainted. So I'm not going to actually heal my Yammer, I'm going to leave it fainted. Usually I use this little lovely beast to thief all my items, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually use the other suggested um, method that everyone has been actually telling me off and not doing. So here it is, it's actually a Pokemon with the ability Frisk. Now Frisk allows you to see if the Pokemon has the item, so you don't have to basically waste PP on your Thief, you can get it straight away. And as you can see there, I've already taught it Thief as well, so that's going to speed this process up a lot faster. Seeing how probably well is only 7.5% um, chance of, finding, of having King's Rock on it. And of course I've got my Star Raptor as well with Thief in case all crap hits the fan. Alrighty, so as I mentioned, Poliwhirl normally holds King's Rock at about 5% chance. Compound Eyes raises the chance of that increasing by 50%, so instead of 5% it'll hold, um, it'll have 7.5% chance of having King's Rock. So enough of the dribble dabble, let's actually see if we can find any King's Rocks. So I was actually doing this method, uh, I reckon for about three hours actually just before recording this video because I need a few King's Rocks because I'm doing a particular giveaway on my Facebook group. Oh, this wasn't holding an item so I don't have to use these. Um, so yeah, I've basically gathered a few King's Rocks and I may be doing a hidden ability uh, Poliwhirl giveaway holding King's Rock of course or a Slowpoke hidden ability giveaway. So basically that's just a little giveaway for people to get either Politoed or Slow King, because I, as I mentioned, they're the only two pokes that need to be traded with a King's Rock to evolve. So that's probably a giveaway that's good for the Pokédex, or if people want those Pokémon to use. But anyways, um, so far we've found two Poliwhirls, not a single one of them was holding King's Rock. Now the reason why I know that is because Frisk did not Frisk those out, um, that item out. So basically, I'll, all I'll be doing is just going into Pokémon battles, hoping Frisk activates and then running if I don't have it. Right, so I'm pretty sure that the other two pokes in this safari do not have items, so that'd be great because I can just focus on one poke then. 
Um, this method does obviously work on every other part that I've done previously in the tutorial, so it will work for um, Pikachu with the light ball, for Chansey for Lucky Egg, um, love this for Heart Scale, though that's already a pretty high chance already. Um, Geodude with Everstone. Uh, there's a few other pokes I'll be covering, so I'll be using the same method again. There's actually quite a lot of pokes you can see for some decent items in this game. So I'm hoping to cover the majority of them, given the items decent enough to cover, of course. Um, so yeah, so far I have had no luck. <laughs> So we're just going to keep running around and hoping that we come across one. Alright, so another... Oh, excuse me! <laughs> Alright, so a poly world disappeared. I just had a bit of something to drink and it's not agreeing with me at the moment. So anyways, um, that poly world was not holding anything and I actually hope my um, pumpkin's not holding anything either. No, it's not. Um, another piece of advice that I usually give in all these videos is make sure your thieving Pokemon does not have an item on it. If it does, it can't successfully thieve an item. So this pumpkin of mine does not have an item, which is great. So if I do eventually find a Poliwell with King's Rock, I can thieve it and take it straight away. Right, so as I said, no luck as of yet. Right, so... Pampor, I don't want you. Go away. Um, as you can already tell in the Safari, there's Poliwell, uh, Pampor, and, 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 and War Turtle. Crap, mind fart. Alright, so another Poliwell. Hopefully this one's got King's Rock. Yes, it's got King's Rock. So, obviously there, Frisk found the um, King's Rock, so usually I'd be running around aimlessly thieving things and obviously with this method it's a lot easier to tell when a Pokemon's got the item that you're looking for. So as I said it really does conserve a lot of PP and that's really cool. I like how Rain Dance actually puts Storm Clouds in the sty. So I'm just going to feed that with my pumpkin and steal that King's Rock and run away we will. Alrighty so that's basically the method that you would use to find King's Rock and hopefully you're a little bit luckier than me in regards to this because that took me quite some time actually to find that. But as I said I did about three hours of this before I started recording to see if this method actually works. I actually didn't use a Pokemon with Frisk to be honest. I just went around aimlessly thieving things. Alright so this Poliwell does not have King's Rock on it. So I'm just going to run from that one. I'll just keep doing this for a little bit longer seeing if we can find any other Poliwells with King's Rock. Obviously another method you could do is if you're just doing it for the Pokedex of course. Um, just catch the Poliwell with King's Rock and then just trade it straight away. So you don't really have to waste an item there. Um, or really don't have to waste any time. Just catch it, do a straight away pass about, oh, like, like trade with a friend. Get yourself a um, Politoed. Or you can hold it for a bit later. IV breed your Poly... Um, polywag or polywell or whatever you're turning it into and just do it that way. Same with slowpoke, if you're doing it for a slowpoke um, just see that straight away from the polywell give it to slowpoke and trade it and you'll get your slow king. Alright so obviously the main reason why people want polytoad is for its hidden ability drizzle which people tend to abuse quite a lot, well they used to abuse it anyway in 5th gen battles because drizzle was infinite but now not so much. I haven't exactly seen too many weather teams since um, the weather's got nerfed. Well, Drought and Drizzle, Sandstream and Snow Warning got nerfed. But people mainly use it just for those. Um, Slow King, a lot of people use that mainly because it's a special wall, whereas Slow Bro is the defensive wall. And plus they're good for trick, wall te uh, trick room teams as well. I personally have not used a Slow King, I do prefer Slow Bro, and look at that, another King's Rock, yes, you little ripper. Right, so I'm just going to thief that, and I'll probably make that my last little thief, so in this episode we managed to cover two King's Rocks, that's actually not too bad. Um, I actually wasn't this lucky when I went and did it myself. Right, so I'm just going to run for that battle. And as you can see there, that was a lot easier than the method I was previously using, so I hope you're happy guys, I actually finally did what you said and the reason why I didn't do it beforehand was because I never had a Pokemon with Frisk. Just been too lazy to catch one. And I actually got that through Wonder Trade so I was lucky I had it. Right, so just to um, show you just how many King's Rocks I've gotten. Um, I've got 16 King's Rocks so I just picked 
two up then, so I had 14 King's Rock. Well, sorry, I had 14 King's Rock. I've actually used a King's Rock already to get a slow... Uh, sorry, I got a Politoid with it. Right, so... Yeah, that's the method um, you can use to get multiple King's Rock. And as I said, there's really three uses for King's Rock in this game. Um, two of them is, of course, to get evolutions. So as I mentioned, Slowpoke have King's Rock being held during a trade to get Slow King. Poliwell for King's Rock during trade is Politoed. And the last one, which I don't suggest because you'll piss so many people off, and at the same time it is banned, although I'm yet to find the article to prove it just yet. Um, if you use it in Wi-Fi battles, um, you can get a chance, 10% chance of a flinch. So the best abuser of this is the Skill Link Pokes, Cloister and Sincino. Um, Skill Link, um, Rock Blast, uh, Icicle Spear, uh, Double Slap, Bullet Seed on those two pokes. Mostly Sincino is the biggest abuser of it. 10% um, chance, uh, ch chance of a flinch, plus King's Rock on that. Yeah, just banned. Kick it out the window, please. That's terrible. I've been up against a few of them, and I rage really hard. But I do suggest you do that on Battle Mason, because I can definitely guarantee a good little victory streak with it. But anyways, that's just me. And giving a little bit of um, trolley advice there for Wi-Fi battles. But honest to God, do not use them. Use them in Battle Mason or Battle Test. Um, if you use it in Wi-Fi battles, you may have a few people rage quitting or bitching. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Next episode, I'll probably be covering a few more items. And maybe the other video as well in regards to competitive battling. I'm not actually sure as of yet. But anyways, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now. But not forever. Ciao!